What is it like for God to be uncreated? The answer to that is for God to be uncreated means that all that is, all that will ever be, all that he is, is instantaneous. So we want to use the word instantaneous. To be uncreated means that obviously you've never been created, that something has never come to be. It's always been. So we have derive our being from God. Obviously it takes two to tango, but God is the one who then implants the soul within the womb, allows the sperm to meet the egg, and then a human being comes forth. Our being ultimately comes from God. But God gets his being from no one and nothing. God simply is being because he has always been. So for God to be uncreated means that whatever he brings forth is instantly known, seen at once. What, whatever is to come in the future, it already has been for him. To be uncreated means you're never surprised by anything. You, you never wonder what to do because, again, everything comes from you. To be uh, uh, uncreated means to be eternal, which, which is what provides the instant, uh, uh, instantaneous aspects of reality. God is eternal. We know this. Uh, Daniel calls him the Ancient of Days. The psalmist says, From everlasting to everlasting you are God. The book of Revelation reveals that God is the Alpha, the Omega, the first, the last, the beginning, and the end. We know Jesus said, uh, Before Abraham was, I am. And in, in Exodus 3.14, we know God told Moses, I am that I am. And we know from Genesis 1.1, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So God is even the creator of beginning. And all beginnings find their beginningness in the beginningless God. So to be uncreated means that everything that is to come to be has already been for God. It means that he truly is able to possess all knowledge. He has all power. All that he is is fully known to himself and everything that is to come to be is fully known by him. And even though he's timeless, he's still able to operate within time at successive moments. He knows when, he's gonna, when he was going to send his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into the world to pay for the sins of mankind and offer the way of salvation uh, in hopes that men would believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and repent of their sins, which we know when this happens, the Holy Spirit comes to live within us, we're saved from hell and damnation, and we have a promised hope of heaven. But... The past, present, and future, everything is simultaneous for God, yet he operates within time, and he is the one who brings forth all creations. He is the ultimate creator because no one has created him. He's the uncreated creator. So that is what it's like for God to be uncreated, is that everything is instantaneous for him. It's all at once. It's all known at once. It's all done by him at once. Everything is present before him who is omnipresent, who is the present himself, who is the immutable, eternal, forever existing now. And everything is instantaneous for him. Everything he knows, he thinks, he'll, he'll do. Uh, that which we don't, will, don't know and which, which we will never come to know, it's known by God all at once because there's no amount of information that can exist out of him who is uncreated. There's nothing that can exist apart from him who is uncreated. May we just worship and praise God that he alone is the uncreated one who has brought forth all things and may all come to know the one true God by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of their sins.